I'm Keisha Ariel and I'm the founder of Here We Grow and today we are going to talk all about high growth fatigue. Now a couple months ago I did a video where I spoke about the top hair and scalp concerns faced by men and women with afro textured hair and I thought to myself I would like to do a poll amongst my subscribers as well as my followers on Instagram and on TikTok to find out if anyone could um, relate to these top hair and scalp concerns. And of course, many of you were able to say, yes, I can identify with this, I can relate to that, etc. But I found it rather interesting that no one selected high growth fatigue. Now, that further inspired me to do another poll to ask you guys if you were aware of what high growth fatigue was. And of course, the results came back that everyone who participated in that poll said, I don't know what high growth fatigue is. So because of that, that inspired today's video and we're gonna talk about high growth fatigue so that you can identify whether that's something you've been dealing with or have dealt with and how we can move past it. So of course I did make a lot of notes so I will be looking at my phone and we are gonna jump right into it with no further ado. So what is high growth fatigue? Now, high growth fatigue refers to the damage that can occur to hair strands as a result of excessive swelling and contracting caused by repeated cycles of wetting and drying. This is particularly relevant to curly or coily hair types. Hair cuticles, the outermost layer of the hair shaft, can lift when the hair absorbs water and then contract as it dries. Over time, frequent wetting and drying can lead to the weakening of the hair shaft, making it more prone to breakage, split ends, and other forms of damage. Now I find this very interesting because when we hear people talk about split ends or damaged hair, hair breakage, etc., no one ever considers the constant wetting and drying of the hair. And this is quite interesting because you ever notice the girls who always do the wash and goes, like there comes a point where they're like saying things like, oh my, my curls ain't holding like it used to, my hair don't look the same, it feels this type of way. That is a sign of high growth fatigue because the hair strands keeps swelling and then contracting, swelling and contracting. It becomes weakened over time and then it can lead to breakage because the, me the mechanism, let me get my words out, the mechanism of the hair, it starts to wear because if this is something that's been done constantly like repeatedly wet and repeatedly drying, you know, it's like, okay, wait, what is going on, you know, I, I, I need I need rest in between and not only when it comes to wash and goes but I find as I've done a video showing you guys what happens when I use gel on my hair that is also another example of the constant wetting and drying of the hair the hair starts to break because I was like why is my hair breaking like this anytime I put gel in my hair it does that and it's simply because say for example I'm wearing gel in my hair right now but I have learned my lesson like after this okay I am going to comb this out of my hair like this is not staying in my hair for more than one day no more than one day uh -uh, after day one mm -mm, coming out so as I was saying, right, so when I would have my hair like this before, I would then, like say if I didn't want to comb it out, I'll then just wet it again with the gel and then, you know, just pat it down, slick it down, etc., and probably wear it for another day. And then by the time it comes time to comb my hair out, it's breaking. So it's like my hair was just being wet and dry, wet and dry in such a short period of time. Then I go to comb it out and then here goes my, my hair snapping off. But not only because of the wetting and drying, it's also the chemicals that actually in the these products right so it's like well what is in it like the alcohol that's in it and whatever is causing the hair to harden oh my god <laughs> i promise you anytime i put gel in my hair my hair breaks like crazy but i have noticed if i put it in and i comb it out almost immediately my hair is fine 
but nonetheless so high growth fatigue is the constant wetting and drying of the hair your hair will break you will lose the curl pattern etc and it also leads to split ends because once your hair starts to break um, it can unravel the the uh, the strands the not the strands sorry the cuticle layer can start unraveling and breaking off because with afro textured hair we have i believe seven cuticle layers we have only seven cuticle layers on our hair strands as opposed to other ethnic groups that have up to 10. i think it's up to 10 they have but we have between five and seven they say five to seven layers so imagine the fragility of our hair strands and you know it's snapping and breaking and how again the fragility a delicate our hair strand is of all the hair types okay so then imagine when it's just breaking and snapping and unraveling like the, the cuticle layer is just not unraveling but you know just peeling off and breaking off like we have to be very very careful when it comes to taking care of our hair so now let's talk about what causes high growth fatigue yes we mentioned the constant wetting and drying of the hair but we're gonna go a little bit deeper so hair care practices that involve excessive wetting and drying especially for individuals with textured or curly hair can contribute to high growth fatigue some routines and styles that may increase the risk include daily washing now I would not advise anyone to wash their hair on a daily basis especially if you have afro textured hair who's got time to do that none of us however there was a time when I was dealing with um, dry flaking itching scalp and I was treating my hair you know trying to get rid of that um, I had to wash my hair according to the, uh, the instructions on the shampoo that I was using which I will link that video um, for you guys to check out um, I had to wash my hair twice a week oh my god yes I was like what I have to wash my hair twice a week but because I was determined to get rid of this issue I was able to um, you know not able to but I followed the instructions and I was able to get rid of my scalp my issue within like two weeks i was super happy with that however in instances like that that is okay because you're treating something and then once you're done you can go back to your regular wash day schedule but um for anyone that's daily washing no please don't do that unless you are treating a scalp condition that requires that frequency but i don't think it will require daily but nonetheless let's continue so daily washing so washing your hair too frequently can subject it to repetitive wetting and drying cycles potentially causing high growth fatigue because again as mentioned the constant wetting and drying of the hair and the mechanics of the hair will start to wear off because if you think about it like for example i i juice not juice sorry do smoothies every single day i don't juice every single day like i used to but um i do juice but i do have a smoothie every single day and i noticed that the blades on my um blender started to dull out like it wasn't chopping up all the the fruits and the v vegetables that I would put in there and I was like why is that and we realized that the more you use the um, the, the blender <laughs> right by putting just liquid in there it can dull the blades just like your hair you keep putting water in your hair it will dull out or dry out your hair strands and the mechanics it starts to not work properly which causes you to lose your curl to, um, pattern and also break the hair off but anyway another um cause of high growth fatigue is certain hairstyles it says styles like ponytails or buns that require frequent wetting or styling and drying after washing can contribute to high growth fatigue as mentioned with putting my hair in like wear my hair like this 
I always put gel in there just to keep it down but the constant wetting like I was doing before led to breakage so that's hydro fatigue um, so it says this causes the use of a lot of water-based products such as gels <laughs> so frequent use can lead to hydro fatigue causing the hair to be limp and lifeless and I am not gonna lie anytime when I comb my hair out of gels my hair always just like limp it just just does that <laughs> you know and it's often looks straight as well I don't like that I just have this straight look and it just goes like that also heat styling now this is interesting because we're talking about high growth fatigue which deals with water but now it's saying heat styling so let's hear what it says here so it says frequent use of heat styling tools without proper protection can lead to moisture loss and weaken the hair structure. So high growth fatigue, even though it's the constant wetting and drying cycles, this is saying that when you um, use excessive heat, it will suck the moisture out of your hair and weaken it. So high growth fatigue, I guess it's just sucking the moisture or the hydration from your hair that's how i'm actually interpreting this to see that that can lead to hygro fatigue it's a little bit of a wonky one i'm not too sure what are your thoughts on that let me know in the comments however continuing we have chemical treatments so overuse of chemical treatments such as relaxers perms or excessive coloring can impact the hair's ability to retain moisture because the hair isn't able to retain moisture, one would find themselves constantly wetting their hair, which leads to excessive wetting and drying function. And the last one that can lead to high growth fatigue is lack of moisture. So insufficient moisturizing and conditioning practices can make the hair more susceptible to high growth fatigue. Makes sense because I mean if you hear like moisture you're gonna always try and wet it because I remember I used to do that when my hair used to be so dry I used to wash my hair constantly and it was not treating the issue um, so that's an interesting one so considering what high growth fatigue is we are gonna take a little bit of a deeper dive into how you can identify whether or not you're dealing with high growth fatigue so let's jump right into that so it says signs of high growth fatigue can manifest in the condition and behavior of your hair so look out for the following indicators which is excessive breakage so if you notice an increase in split ends and breakage especially after washing it can be a sign of high growth fatigue and like I says with me using gels in my hair definitely a sign of high growth fatigue so reduced elasticity mm. hair with high growth fatigue may exhibit reduced elasticity meaning it doesn't stretch as much when wet and may break more easily the constant wetting and drying wears out the mechanics of the hair strand and like I said when my hair is um, in gel and I comb it out my hair is literally straight and it limps so the elasticity is not there so i know i've experienced high growth fatigue and at the time i did not even realize it was high growth fatigue i was dealing with um also lack of curl definition so for those with curly or coily hair high growth fatigue can lead to a loss of natural curl pattern and difficulty in um, maintaining defined curls just like I mentioned with the ladies who do the wash and go and you will hear them sometimes complain about lack of definition their hair curl pattern is not the same high growth fatigue okay also dryness and frizz now I did a video on frizz definitely check it out right here and this can be an indication of hygro fatigue so it says while seemingly contradictory hygro fatigue can cause both excessive dryness and frizz as the hair struggles to retain moisture effectively so that is why earlier when we spoke about um, the causes and we mentioned lack of moisture and um, also the heat styling whereas I like a little bit confused I guess this kind of clears it up because it says um, 
the hair struggles to retain moisture. So hygro fatigue because the mechanics of the hair is worn out, it's not holding on to moisture, which will also cause your hair to look frizzy. That's rather interesting. Also, unusual texture changes. So if your hair feels different in texture, becomes overly porous or loses its natural resilience, it could be a sign of high growth fatigue. So I hope you guys found today's video very informative and very helpful. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a big massive thumbs up, drop a comment and let me know what are your thoughts. And I look forward to recording the second part of this video where we talk about how moisturizing your hair helps to prevent high growth fatigue. So until then, I'll see you in the next one.